How to transfer existing fields to new tables with the simple object designer. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, a feature that we have just recently added to uh, sort of simple object designer is the ability to transfer fields between tables, which is not a new thing. But the new thing that we have added is the ability to take an existing field and transfer that into a new table as a new field. Um, and um, let's jump right into an example because that's probably easier than I, I'm trying to explain all this. So here's the simple object designer. I am. I have started a fresh app, and and the the, the thing I thought we could do is that if we go to items, um, and I open the object design or object inspector, page inspector. We can see there is a number two field on, on the item, but it's not really visible. So I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to find that. So uh, I can either just search for a field that's called number two. Here it is. So let's the first thing we want to do in our app is to add this to the item card. So we could do a um, add after. And let's add it after the the let, let's and let's add it after the you know the number one field. So we'll have number two on the page right after number one. Um, so the new thing is that if we just scroll a bit to the right here, um, we now can select field transfer and say, okay, I want this field to go somewhere. And, and the simple object designer knows certain connection between tables. Uh, so for instance, it knows how to jump from, from the item cart in this case to the sales line and to the purchase line, and in this case also to the job planning line. Uh, but we want to go to the sales line in this case. So I'll, I'm going to actuate that and it says, hey, hang on. Sales line does not have a field called number two. Should it be created? Sure. So now this is activated. Excellent. I'll close this. And uh, I'll also close this because we're done working with the existing fields. Now we can actually go back to create new fields and we can see that we got a new field. It's called number two. And let's actually make the caption just a tiny bit nicer here. So like that. And let's place that somewhere on a page. So in this case, we know we're on sales line. So let's add it on the sales order. And we can do the same add after. And let's select the anchor being the, the number field here again. So I think that's I think that's pretty much our app. We, we could take this new field we created here and, and say that, hey, Let's transfer that to uh, to the item journal, and we could transfer it onto the item later entries, and and or we could transfer it to the posted invoices, and and so on. Um, but that's kind of just being repeating what what I just did. So instead of you looking at me doing more of the same, let's actually just publish this app we have created. And if we look at this um, this little demo and I, I demo why did i say that this the little statistics thing we can see that we added one new field we had two fields placed on the page and we have one field transfer uh, selected so i can hit publish and what is happening now is that i hit publish and then stuff goes on here uh, what is actually going on is that now the simple object designer is writing the code for this. So that we are not cheating or anything. We are the, the, the system is writing the code just as I would write this code. If you came to me and said, hey, Eric, I need you to add a field uh, on the sales line and I need to be number two and it needs to be transferred from the number two when we select an item on a sales order. Um, it's writing the same thing because you have told the simple object designer to do that. 
Then two things happened after it was done writing all the code is and it actually built an app for it. So it compiled and, and produced an app file. Then two things happened with the app file. One that we saw up in the corner here is that it was downloaded. So if I was working in, in a sandbox as I am, I get an app file I can take in, in, in hand and, and go to my production uh, environment and upload. And at the same time, the app is also getting deployed to this sandbox because I, I actually answered yes to do that. And um, and we can see this typically takes a minute and, and 20 seconds for, for small apps, depending on how busy Microsoft is. Uh, so I think we will be done in just a few seconds. Um, but you can keep it track. You can actually close this one and, and it will keep deploying. Uh, and now it's done in a minute and 24. I can, I can just close this and, um, let's go to an item now and see how our app. So we will take the Athens desk and we can see that we now have the uh, number two. So I'll call that for X7. Now I add a number two to this item. So let's go create a sales order. Um, or we could just take in this existing one. Now that one is opened. So let's actually grab the next one. And I will select an item here and I will select the Athens desk. And in a second, when you see, we got the number two column, we should, I should have said that before I started and we got the X seven value transferred. So that's how easy it is to take existing fields and have them uh, being moved or, or transferred to the system uh, um, just by saying, okay, I want this existing field to be moved to this table where it doesn't exist when something specific happened. In this case, uh, when you enter an item on a, on a sales order and the simple object, or object designer will do all this for you. If you want to try out the simple object designer, you can, you can try all that I have shown you, you can try in the sandbox. The only thing the trial version will not allow you to is to deploy an app to production. So you cannot run the app on production. You cannot, you, you, you don't get the download and all those features. So, so you can, you can try out the app in the sandbox and hopefully when you like it, you can buy it and that will open up all the features. Check it out on the link below. Thank you.